So here are a few examples where you can use the evens and the odds trick. So right away, if I look at this first one, I see that it's F2 that's even, and I look at the other side and it's F3 that's odd. So I know that one side's even, one side's odd. I have to double the odd side because there's no number that I can put here to turn this even value into an odd value. Try to think of a number. If you put a 1 here, it's still 2. If you put a 2, it's 4. If you put a 3, it's 6. Whatever you put here is always going to be even, so you can never fix the even side. You always have to fix the odd side. So we're going to double it. There's an imaginary 1. Let's double it and make a 2. So now we have 2 times 3 is 6. Let's make this side equal to 6. So we're going to put a 3. 3 times 2 will be 6. 6, my fluorines are even. And now let's worry about phosphorus. 2 times 1. And over here, 2 times 1. Here's 1. Here's 2. Remember, they have to be combined. That's 3. That's odd. Now, if this side's the same, if this side's 3, then I'm all set. But it's not. It's 2, which is even. So I have the odds and evens again. So find out who's making it odd. This is not making it odd. This one here is even. This is odd. So find the odd one and double it. There's a 1 here. Let's double it and put a 2 there. Then let's worry about everything else. Remember, we do oxygens last. So let's worry about the nitrogens first. And there's 2. Let's make this 2. So they're even. And now I can tackle my oxygens. Over here, we have 2 times 1. There's 2 oxygens. Here's 2 oxygens. So that's a grand total of 4. You add these up. And then over here, 2 times 2 is 4. So it looks like all I had to do was put those 2s there, and it's all balanced. Now let's take a look at this one. This is the beauty of balancing equations. Sometimes it's just trial and error, or sometimes the numbers that you put down that you think you're doing correctly turn out to be incorrect, but you can't figure that out until later on in the solution. So don't think you're doing something wrong. It just happens to work out that way sometimes. Now, I told you earlier, use oxygen or do oxygens last. So let's start with carbons. There's two here. Let's put a two here. There's six hydrogens. So let's put a three here because three times two is six. Now let's tackle our oxygens. This is going to be even. No matter what we put in front, it's always going to be multiplied by two and it's going to be even. Over here, 2 times 2 is 4. That's even. That's good. But over here, 3 times 1 is 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. That's odd. So I have a problem here because there's nothing I can put here, no whole numbers that I can put here, multiply by 2, double basically, and get a 7. So we have to go back to this 3 and double it. So that 3 is not going to be correct. So let's get rid of it and let's change it to a 6. And as you can imagine, that's going to affect other things. That 6 not only affects your oxygen, but it also impacts your hydrogen. So now we have 6 times 2. That's 12 hydrogens. So we're going to go back here and watch this. It basically goes backwards. 6 times 2. There used to be a 1 there, and now we double it. We get a 2. Now look what happens over here with the carbons. 2 times 2 is now 4 carbons. So over here, I better have 4. I thought the 2 was correct earlier, but now I'm realizing it's not. So I'm going to get rid of my 2, hopefully use a pencil and erase, and I'm going to replace it with a 4. Okay, so now let's tackle the oxygens. We have still our something times 2 is still going to be even, but now 4 times 2 is 8. That's even. That's good. And now 6 times 1 is even. That's good also. 8 plus 6, 14. So on this side, I need 14. Over here, I need 14. What times 2 gives me 14? And that's 7. So a couple things. One, immediately look for odds and evens. And if you see that, then take the odd one and double it. If you come across 2s and 3s, try to make the grand total 6. Always think 6. So if you see a 3 here, put a 2 there. 2 times 3. If you see a 2 down here as a subscript, put a 3 in front. Other times, it might not be as glaringly obvious. You might realize that you have to add these together, and when you add them together, it turns out to be an odd value. 
figure out which one is making it odd and double that. And finally, don't feel bad if you plug numbers in and then realize after the fact you have to go back and double your odd ones. You're going to learn that this is a combustion reaction and combustion reactions often cause you to do that. You'll, you'll balance the hydrocarbon here first and then afterwards you have to go back and double it uh, if it's giving you an odd number of oxygens over here.